क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन से इफ अ प्लैनेट ऑफ मास एम इज रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड द सन इन अ सर्कुलर ऑर्बिट ऑफ रेडियस टू आर विथ टाइम पीरियड टी देन द मास ऑफ सन इज डियर स्टूडेंट्स इट इज गिवन दैट द प्लैनेट हैज अ मास एम एंड द रेडियस इज टू आर वेर एज द टाइम पीरियड इज टी फ्रॉम वेरी बेसिक्स वी कैन राइट दैट इज द मास ऑफ द सन इज कैपिटल एम then g capital m into small m divided by 2r square should be equal to mv square by 2r on solving this expression we get a value of v to be equal to g capital m by 2r under root dear students time can be written to be equal to the circumference that is 2 pi into 2r divided by the speed that will be 2 pi into 2r divided by under root of gm by 2r this can be written to be equal to 4 pi divided by under root of gm multiplied by root 2 into r to the power 3 by 2 dear students on solving this expression we can find out the value of m this value of m would be equal to 32 pi square r cube gt square therefore dear students the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 1 now let us proceed to the question number 12 Question number twelve says the magnitude of gravitational potential energy of a body at a distance r from the center of Earth is v. Its weight at a distance three r from the center of Earth is. Now, dear students, the potential energy due to gravitation can be written to be equal to minus g into small m into capital M divided by r, where small m is the mass. of the body and capital m is the mass of earth it is given that this is equal to v we have to find out the weight of the body at a distance 3r from the center of the earth now dear students to find out this weight we can find out the force that the earth applies on the body it will be equal to g into small m into capital m divided by 3r square that will be equal to g into small m into capital m divided by 9r square dear students on comparing these two equations we can see that force would be equal to minus v by 9r and hence the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 2 as we are just taking the magnitude dear students let us proceed to the question number 13 question number 13 says that n moles of a monoatomic gas undergoes a reversible triangular cycle a b c a as shown in the figure the work done by the gas in the cycle a b c a will be dear students in the question a pv diagram has been given to us and work will be equal to area of pv diagram to find out the work we have to find out the area of this shaded portion since this is a triangle we can write down the area which will be equal to work to be equal to half into base into height in this question the base is this that is 2v minus v that is v not and height is this which will be 2p not minus p not that is p not we can write down work to be equal to half into v not into p not and hence dear students the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 1 now let us proceed to the question number 14 question number 14 says heat is supplied at constant pressure to a polyatomic gas gamma is given to be equal to 4 by 3 the fraction of heat which goes to work done by gas dear students here in 
the heat that is given to the gas Q can be written to be equal to N Cp delta T, where Cp is the molar heat capacity at constant pressure and delta T is the temperature change. Now, dear students, the work done would be equal to the heat minus the change in internal energy. This can be written to be equal to N Cp delta T minus N Cv delta T because Cv is the molar specific heat capacity at constant volume. Dear students, we have to find out the ratio of W with Q which will be equal to N Cp delta T minus N Cv delta T divided by N Cp delta T. This will be equal to 1 minus Cv by Cp which will be in turn equal to 1 minus 1 by gamma. In the question, gamma has been given to be equal to 4 by 3. So therefore, W by Q can be written to be equal to 1 minus 1 by 4 by 3 which will be equal to 1 by 4. And hence, dear students, the correct answer for this question should be option number 3. Now, let us proceed to the question number 15. Question number 15 says, which of the following pressure temperature curve best represents the adiabatic process for an idle gas? Dear students, for an idle gas in adiabatic process, we can write that P to the power 1 minus gamma into T to the power gamma is a constant. We can also write that P to the power 1 minus gamma is proportional to T to the power minus gamma. Also, P can be written to be proportional to T to the power gamma divided by gamma minus 1. Now, dear students, if gamma is greater than 1, which is the case for idle gases, this particular exponent would be greater than 1 and positive. And therefore, dear students, as T increases, P would also increase. Therefore, the correct answer for this particular question should be option number 1. Now, let us move to the next question, which is question number 16. 